Hey, 395 out of 500. 900. 3 <laughs> 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 I have never asked you, hey, do you know what you want to become? Uh, agriculturist. Hey, Edwin, you have your priorities right. These kids, you have a good curriculum. I could never have said I want to be a farmer at your age. Never. What's up, my beautiful family? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My beautiful name is Makena J. And in case you see me for the first time, feel welcome in this beautiful family that you've been building. And guys, I urge you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, kindly like the video, share, and comment and tell me what you think about this video. Right now, uh, it's a Sunday. I'm going out with my cousin. Eh, cousin. I'm going out with my cousin. Um, I'm going to do some shopping for her because she's going back to school tomorrow. Yeah, I've sent her to, I don't want to go, but I've sent her to get some, me something from the house, so we are going together. Guys, let me tell you guys, I'm a mother of many children that have not yet given birth to. <laughs> like being a big sister. It's a big responsibility, it's a blessing and a big responsibility because let me tell you guys, these kids, when they look at me, they see a super rich, a eh? super rich big sister. Guys, let me tell you, it's a big responsibility when they're going back to school. Let me tell you, they always, always, everyone is always on the side trying to tell me, oh, my can I need this? I need this. Um... I take that responsibility proudly and it's a big responsibility to be honest because sometimes I also have my own issues guys I have my own issues to deal with I'm also trying to grow myself and maybe they look at me and they see yeah they see money and this is why it makes me so happy when this burden sometimes it's lifted off my shoulder uh, like yesterday julian abraham sent me some money for my cousin winnie and right now as we go for shopping it's because of julian thank you so much julian you don't know what you've done for me even for my grandma and even for my cousin winnie because guys let me tell you like it's a big responsibility to to raise a child <laughs> children are expensive especially when they get to the age where they're going to school children are expensive and like when this responsibility like when some of you be like let me send you this let me take off it's like telling me let me help you let me take off this but big burden on your shoulder for a while and i really appreciate it i'll show there's a video that i was showing my cousin the money that julian sent for us it's so sweet not to post so i'll show you in mini how are you today? I'm fine. Mm, when are you going back to school? On Monday, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Just oh yes, let's just hope you guys will go back. But I have a surprise for you. Really? Yes. Do you think do you know who it is from? Can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's from Julia. <laughs> and let me. It's a receipt. I want you to read what is on it. It has there's some money there. How much do you see? Okay. Can okay. Let me show you how you read it. This is in dollars and this is in shillings. Read it in shillings. Seven thousand two hundred and sixty-three. <laughs> oh, Julia, look at her first reaction. <laughs> How do you feel? Is this for me? Yes, it's for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it said um we go for shopping. Uh -huh. Do you need? There's a lot of need things that you want to buy right yes. so you'll go and i've already 
I'm from the bank right now. So you will go and write a list of everything. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Julian, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Oh my God bless you. Look at our girl. She's smiling. <laughs> that is the highest amount you've ever received from anyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> no one has ever told you, oh, Winnie, what's the highest amount you've ever received from someone? 1,000. <laughs> from who? From <laughs> Okay, you go and write a list mm -hmm. of everything, right? Yes. Yeah, write a list of everything and then we we see and then go shopping tomorrow because tomorrow is market day in Githorai. Cindy, mm. thank you so much, Julian. I really appreciate you. Like, oh, stay blessed. Say something to Julian. Julian, God bless you and give you more and more. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's here already. Hi, Winnie. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling? I'm excited. <laughs> Why are you excited? I'm going to shop. <laughs> what are we going to shop? My school items. Uh -huh, and what else? And my home clothes. Okay, how do you feel happy? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, she's so happy because that is the you, the largest amount of money she has ever received from someone. For me, like when me, I usually send her like one thousand and tell her go and buy maybe shoes, and like occasionally from time to time, and like I've never sent her a huge amount of money at once, and she's so shocked, like that someone can send her money at once. So much money at once right yeah. how does it feel to receive all that money <laughs> happy <laughs> wow you see like people in the like, that there's like there are so many people out there who are kind and can help people yeah. without without any judgment without any questioning just wholehearted right you never thought that someone can just send you a lot of money at once, right? Yes. Yeah. Guys, let me tell you. Let's go as we walk. Let me tell you. You see, like, before I got to YouTube, I never knew people can get, like, someone can send you so much money at once. Not just money. Like, people can help you. People can help. People can actually help. I never used to see that before before this happened so such an honor and i just want to say thank you thank you so much julian i appreciate this as we go right now to the market we are going with happy faces oh here it looks disgusting guy <laughs> there's a lot of papers there so we're going to the market happy and smiling and thanks to the youtube plat platform so this is our fit of the day that's my cousin this is me these are my earrings from my mom nisha hi my mom nisha she came to visit me recently from trinidad and tobago and she left on thursday she's from trinidad and tobago but she lives in the u.s and it was such an honor having her around. She chose me, guys. I feel like the chosen. I still feel like the chosen one. I'm her adopted daughter. She's my mom. And we are connected no matter how far we are. That's why I'm telling you guys, before YouTube, I never knew these things are possible. And my cousin is experiencing it for the first time. Right? Yeah. People can help. And Julian, you're putting a smile on us. You guys put a smile on us. Like, the help you give us. Ah. Hey, it's immense and I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, so let's go like this. <laughs> I'm resting. I'm resting to talk. I usually talk and feel like my throat is dry. When I talk a lot, I want to show you guys this house. You see this house? We, I was here yesterday. We were painting the house. Yeah.
painting the house. <laughs> like doing, it's like interior design or something like that. Yeah, and it's so cute today. We can't be there because it's Sunday. We don't work on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, so let's go to the market and I thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is where we're going, it's called Gidu, right? That's where we're going to do shopping. Today on Sunday, it is usually market day of, over there. And the last time I was in Gidurai, it was very, it's been long. You know guys, in Gidurai, it's where the massacre happened. Where so many people were killed. Until, it was on Tuesday, like during the big protest where people, Gen Z's, visited the Kenyan parliament. That's the day the Gidurai massacre happened. So from that day, I've not been there. I think because of the fear, knowing that innocent women were killed in the markets and all that but now here we go we are going to see the right that's why it's the best market for today they sell nice things affordable and all that yeah <laughs> so here we go say what you want to say to me now i want to wake up with you a lot of people especially women like there's a lot of vendors around here business like it is a very good business place and most people know it like how they know Gikomba you know Gikomba guys so you can see there's a market here Intense people, many we need. Is it slippers? So you can't say much about it. Ten dollars. The book comes. Oh, I'm 
We are in this shoe shoe shop. My cousin wants this kind of shoe. <laughs> this shoe is usually worn by men, but this is what the school wants. Wants them to have so. In October, it's good. Kabisa kabi e kosawa. Guys, it's a shoe shop. To pay basi yo namba ingine. Guys, you're taking this. It's usually a shoe for men, but schools are crazy. So they are being asked to have this kind of shoes. They are called hazel shoes. Hazel shoes. <laughs> okay. Hey, ma'am, Tosha. Iko pia ingine. Guys, you've been looking for that shoe. It, eh, it's not easy to find. We're finding some crazy, crazy shoes until we found it. It's not easy. One thing about Gedo, right? It's very intense. Actually, one thing about Kenyan markets where like things are cheap and affordable, there are always so many people, and the intensity is just something else. If you're not used to this, oh my goodness, you can't handle it. Funny enough, as it sounds, we did get the shoe at the at the place where we were getting them. They ended up being the shoes of not the same type, and he only had that pair. But luckily, I don't know why had, we had not thought of this. And the shoe, we found it in the supermarket. There, there were so many of them just in the supermarket. I don't know why we never thought of it at first. So here we are at the supermarket line trying to get to the to the cashier. People are many. It's our Sunday. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> this is too much. So from here, I didn't record anything else in the market. So let's go home and unbox and all that. Guys, we just got home. We just got to the house. I want to unbox for you guys. You see what we've bought. Let me show you guys. This is everything we've come with. Let me tell you, children are expensive. If you're planning to have kids, these kids are expensive. Can you imagine this is around 6,000? Like this and this, just two, two small papers. It's around 6,000. Like me, I can't even believe it because... Let me tell you guys, kids are expensive. You're planning to have one, be financially stable, like be ready. But anyway, if we were to say like, wait till you're financially stable to have kids, some of us <laughs> would not even be born by now. <laughs> oh my goodness, just have kids and flow with it. Just know they are expensive. So we're going to unbox. We need to come with everything here. I'm telling you my house is disorganized. Um, hold for me the phone. We need. Can you believe this? For all the money we had, no. <laughs> it's too. It looks so small, right? Yes. Hey, economy, Ruto, Ruto, what are you doing to us? So, we need letter, letter, simu karibu Janine. Uh, this is a vintage trouser for Winifred. But you will wear that once you come back home. Some things, guys, are like girlish things, so don't need to see some of them. Don't need to see. Um, put these grips over there. Ah, okay. And these are innerwears. Hey, <laughs> we bought so many of them, guys. You don't need to see some of those things. They are girl girlish things. And we need. Let me ask you, does. Uh, does your school like do girls still in a Yes. Why, guys? Let me tell you. Like you say, like when I was in high school, if you hang in a in the hanging line, especially if it's new, if it's new and it looks nice, or just it looks nice, 
the moment you hang it if you don't stay there and keep watching that in a way it will be stolen you had like the moment you do your head like this from the hanging line your inner hair is gone like kenyan high school teach you survival <laughs> kenyan high schools will teach you to survive they steal everything they steal um okay i have this i have remembered something let me get for you guys she needed some sports bra but we were not able to find so there's some sports bra that mom trinisha gave me so i'll give you one it's very soft let's see if it will fit let me see these ones are mom trinisha like they have never since these are very soft they are very comfortable it actually una jena stretch bush shiko sasa nitakupatia gani unataka rangi gani black nataka black shika this is from that i'll have this from mom trinisha all the way from usa my sister took one my sister jennifer my sister Jennifer thinks my closet is a closet. So I'm not complaining. But when she comes, she usually steals everything from me. <laughs> but yeah. Mom Trinisha also gave her one of these. They are very comfortable sports bras. Very com like, oh my goodness. The feel on them is just something else. I know Winnie will love it. So Mom Trinisha Winnie has some of this. So I'm left with only one. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, I was telling you about in our years in Kenyan high school, you are taught how to survive. <laughs> Let me tell you, like the moment you look away from your things in the hanging line, they steal blouses, right? Right? Yes. They steal blouses, sweaters, school, like literally school uniform, buckets. Hey, Kenyan high school will, will teach you how to survive. So don't usinde nezi ya in our years. Unenda na zote shule. So, you can see it. You can see it, you can see it, you can see it. Guys, this is what we bought for 6,000. Can you hold the phone for me? Eh? School, school items like books, of course. Um, literally just school shopping. Oh, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And there's it to keep pens. Eh, you have enough for for the entire term. Soaps. We have soaps. Um, toothpaste. Then let me tell you, I I got out of the supermarket with this receipt, and I went out there and started calculating what we bought. Like I wasn't believing it. I wasn't believing like. What we bought over there was all that money. <laughs> These ones you will wear once you come from school. Those are some sweatpants, some shirts. Um, These are some sandals. She told me they, they are asked to have this one in school. Like... These sandals are usually for men. We really don't understand why the school is requiring you to have these kind of sandals. They are for men. If you go with other kind of sandals, they will tell you to... They will take them. They will take them. Yeah. So you're required to have these kind of sandals in school. Yeah. What? Let me tell you guys, we looked for these sandals. Finally, the ones we had seen in Akibanda, they turned out to be not the same size. One was big, the other one was small. I don't know why we had not thought of going to look at them at the supermarket. Because at the supermarket, there were so many. And we wasted a lot of time looking for these. They are not easy to find. They are not easy to find. Oh, this is a bread for grandma. Some milk for grandma. <laughs> These are all going to grandma. Yeah, some milk for grandma. What else do we have here? Pigeon. Hey, Nini. No, Pigeon. Hey, Nini, it's going to happen. 
Omo. Oh, that is Omo. Hey, to me, that ruin it. I'm not to take what they found on any tena. As this washing detergent in Kenyan high school, they hand wash their clothes like Africans just hand wash their clothes. I don't know how it happens from where you come from. You can give me a culture shock. It will be a culture shock for me to hear like Kenya, like an high school washing clothes with ma with washing machines. Yeah, so that is the washing detergent. Nini ngine kwa pondani? Maziwa. Nandimu. Hakuna kitu ingine. Yani hizi vitu ndio zime tu cost yo pesa yote. Hai. Guys, me, I'm not believing. I'm like, only these things has costed us all that money. What? Anyways, we have some balance. So, the balance is going to be for your pocket money. Right? Yes. You toy your pesa up with your bag. Your dog. Guys, I'm using my phone. <laughs> I'm using my phone because... This GoPro doesn't see at night. Ah, what have I done? A blue hole for me like this. So, transport to night to me up is angapi. Transport is fixed. Kwenda na kurudi. Kwenda. Ni five hundred. Mm. Alafu munenda munenda na unenda na public transport ama unenda na mm. na iko fixed mm. adi shule yeah. so this one will be for your transport alafu when you need to buy anything from school this is for pocket money go and tell let grandma know you are sorted everything so she she has already paid for that dumb piece right mm. yeah so let her know you're sorted for transport and pocket money and shopping school shopping and yeah thank you <laughs> you should i'm not the one i think julian should be receiving your thank you because he has done something so big, honestly. Right? Mm. Yeah, tell him thank you. Julian, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, My brother is also coming for me. Alex, hold the phone for me. Alex is also coming for me. He's going back to school, so... Eh... Like, guys, money is not even enough. <laughs> it's not even enough. But thank you so much, Julian. I really appreciate that you, you've helped me and my cousin and my grandma. And oh my goodness, thank you so much. You've taken like a big burden from me and grandma, and which I really appreciate. And yeah. Thank you so much and thank you for the support guys. You're just the best. You keep us going. That like, that comment and all that. You keep us going. So I really appreciate you. Wish my little cousin all the best. My little cousin is raised by my grandma and my mom. Yeah. So wish her all the best in school. Winnie, what are we expecting from you? This is the time you'll choose subjects. Yeah. Okay, we talked about that, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're waiting for that doctor. <laughs> we're waiting for that to see that doctor. <laughs> yeah, will you make us proud? Yes. Okay, we can't wait to see it. All the best in school. Go and come home as a doctor. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> Guys, my brother is already here. This is Alex. Some of you usually ask me, which brother are you talking about? This is now my brother, guys. He is 18. He's going to fit. You're going to your last term of high school. You'll finish in high school in three months, right? 
Sophia is now. Are you 18 or 17? 18. You are 18? Yeah. Okay, so guys are growing, which is nice. So he's going and he'll be doing his national exam. What's the name of your national exam? KCSE. Full. <laughs> Kenya Secondary. Kenya Certificate Secondary Education. Kenya Certificate. So you'll be doing your national exam. Yeah. And what do we expect? What do you expect from us? From you or for me? From us. Good success. <laughs> yeah, guys, national exam determine like it really determines your what you guys maybe call prerequisites to do certain maybe courses, certain careers. So if it doesn't pass that exam, it can even repeat high school. So you better pass those exams. <laughs> and we usually like. Uh, there's something like it's a culture here in Kenya like when people are doing their national exam there's national exam for primary and secondary we usually send them success card and we'll be sending success card to this boy but you'll come for midterm right no there's no midterm there's no midterm yeah three months at school we need you have midterm no even you mm. no midterm What? Why is there no midterm? It's Tandre, there's no midterm. Eh? There's Tandre. Aye, but we used to have midterm. They changed. Yeah. What? Yeah. They changed. Aye. I am shocked. So we'll see each other after three months. After three months. November. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now how will you even send you success? See, through the teacher. But it's a card. Okay, after, after, after KCC. Now after KCC, how will it make sense? After KCC. Before the results, like, you know, before the success. <laughs> well, me, I'm shocked. Guys, I thought they, they were coming for me. Um, so I, like, I'm like, I'll have more time with them. We need. Are you sure the shopping you have will be enough? Yes. You have another one in school, so you'll add it up. Do you have anything at school? Yeah. Okay. You, Alex. You know, guys, boys, boys and shopping. A boy will take just polish and Vaseline, and they will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, so I, I've not seen you like buy anything for shopping you're you're good we'll shop for the form ones for form ones no we have, we have shopping at school we don't use a lot of shopping Ay, you boys you surprise me you really surprise me hey okay when you go to school then be a good boy be responsible remember it's your last year alex it's yeah. your last year if you don't work at my last term. Last term. Your last, yeah, your last term. And we knew you'll be doing selection of subjects, right? Yes. You have decided the subject you're selecting? Yes. Which ones are you selecting? Biology, mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. history. History. And which ones are you leaving out? Geography. Physics, mm -hmm. geography, and science. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That will be perfect. Alex, what's up? Do you study biology? Yeah. And work hard in biology. Mm -hmm. Biology and mathematics. And chemistry. You do chemistry. Yeah. And in chemistry, which one are you? Which one did you leave out? Physics. Geography, agriculture. You guys don't like geography and physics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Alex, what, what uh, transport are you using to school? What is it public or public or school bus? Public. So you'll go to town or you have someone who will be picking you up from the stage? Yeah. 
No, just in Kimbo. Yeah, yeah, the stage. You have to go to Nairobi. No, Kimbo. But for Kimbo, there are those cars for standing on the road. Yeah, like, yeah, then swings. No, Alex, you need to take an express. Yeah, it, yeah, it goes express, but I have to wait at Kimbo. So you know which car will be picking you up? Yeah. You are connected already? No. How do you know which will be picking you up and you're not connected? Take it on the stage tomorrow. But it will go standing, standing on the way and you'll arrive late. No, no, no. Why? Like, we, we arrive late by four, so I won't be late. You know, you're going far. Winnie is going to Moranga and it's three hours, three or two hours away. You, you're going to Meru, six no, hours away. Meru, the Raka falls. The Raka was part of Meru before it was it yeah. was divided but i usually take four hours to go to the four hours yeah. but now it means you you should go earlier than we need we need oh. what time do you let to school what time does your school close the gate nine nine a.m yeah. yeah. asubui yeah. that's the difference what that's the difference i am getting the shock of my life you guys are shocking me so we need your school closes at at 9 a.m. Yes. I've ne ah your school is too much. I've never heard of that. As we used to close up at 4 4 p.m. I 9 a.m. I your school we need. You better come back with an A. <laughs> the way they are tough on you guys. You better come back with an A. Alexi, you're closing. The school closes the gates at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. So I have to go later. So what time will you move out of the house? Eight or seven thirty. No, you, you should be ready. You should wait. What time will you wake up? Six. And when you will wake up at four. Aye, but I'm shocked. Nine a.m. is aye. What time do you wake up when you're in school? No, you're sleeping there. Four. Oh my goodness! you and you, Alex. What time? Three fifty. You, you wake up at 3.50 a.m. And you, when you wake up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time do you guys do your cleaning? Your your school cleaning? Uh, after, four, after the lessons, at 4, 4 p.m. You don't do in the morning? No, we study in the morning. In the morning we study. When you, what time do you do the cleaning? 6 a.m. Yeah, that's what we used to do too. At 6. But boys, maybe they are lenient on, on boys. <laughs> hey, but waking up at at three, we also used to wake up at five a.m. Five a.m. Everyone sh and by five five fifty, everyone should be out of the dormitory. That's Edwin now. Edwin, come here and also you talk to us. Come and stand in the middle. This one now is in primary. These two, Winnie and Alex are in high school. Edwin is in primary class. Eight. Grade nine. Seven. Ulikume in Shangaza. Si utenda class eight next year? Mm. Eh? Grade, grade seven. I'm now good grade eight. Grade eight next year, right? Yes. You guys, do you repeat, repeat school? No. Even if you fail your exam, you don't repeat class? If you fail, if you fail, you repeat. But you know, you guys, I don't understand your curriculum, CBC. <laughs> How do you even do exams? Like, uh, guys, the system was changed. I think this will be the first group of CBC, and they do a very different curriculum for from what like we need, Alex and me have done. It's very different. So, so you, Edwin. How do you how do you do your exams? I do like the other ones. Like the ones we used to do A B C D. No. We we in the exam we are asked some questions. In class, you guys we can't even. <laughs> <laughs> you ask 
questions by the teacher or they are written on paper? Uh, they are written on the paper. How many questions per subject? The others are 40 and others are 50. <laughs> and how many marks did you have last time? Hey, 395 out of 500. 900. 390. <laughs> Edwin, are you the last one? Are you the one? <laughs> the one touching the the mkia, the tail. And the first one had how many? 400. 400. Yes. So you are number 2. The first one had 400. What number were you then? We are, we are not dead. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't understand Edwin's curriculum at all. How can you have 395 out of 900? <laughs> How many subjects are you doing? Hello. Hey guys, we don't understand. We not. We are not judging you, Edu, but <laughs> we don't understand. <laughs> we really don't. But yeah, do you like what you you said? You're not graded in numbers, right? Okay, so you you are also going back to school tomorrow. No. You're not going tomorrow. Tuesday. Okay. Tomorrow then we'll go to that place, right? <laughs> okay, so guys wish them all the best. This is Alex. This is Edwin. And this is Winnie. Alex, what do you want to become? <laughs> I'm not sure. Not Alex sure. is never sure. I don't know. But I have never asked you, Edwin. What do you want to become? A footballer. Yes, agriculturist. Eh, hey, Edwin, you have your priorities right. Veterinary. Guys, you want to become a vet veterin veterin veterinary? Farm, a farmer. <laughs> a farmer? Yes. Wow, guys. <laughs> Edwin has his priorities right. Like, farming is good. Farming is really good, Edwin. Yeah. Eh, hey, like these kids, us, we used to talk of doctors. When you're in, in class one, you say you want to be a doctor. When you get to class eight, you, you say you want to be a teacher. When you go to high school, you want to be maybe a dancer or a journalist. Like the priorities get going, like they, they start going down instead of going up because like reality starts to hit you. But Edwin, oh, these kids, you, you have a good curriculum. I could never have said I want to be a farmer at your age. Never. But, wow, well, that is nice. Farming is really good. Winnie, what do you want to become? A doctor. Wow, that is so sweet. That is so sweet. Guys, last time she wanted to become a journalist, but I changed her, her mind. Uh, we need more doctors in this house. Alex, you have not decided. I know, I know mine. Which one? I want to be... A professional lawyer. Yeah, a lawyer. A lawyer. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Alex, if we go to court, you can defend me and win the case. Yeah, I'm so good at defending. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. So, guys, these are all my they are all my siblings. Uh, my two brothers is my younger sister, and yeah, I'm blessed to have these are the ones who my mom Trinisha like to say finish me. These are the ones who finish me now. They be like. Why can I want this? My, like, look at this one. He took my phone. He has it. It's his own. And they fight for it. The way you see them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Alex, you're going to take Winnie home, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah take her home. Winnie, you're ready with everything. Mm. Okay, take her home. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. <coughs> thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate you. Let me get ready.
for the night and have we need taken home because tomorrow I won't even see her. She she goes to school. She wakes up at 4, right? Mm. To get ready for AM and by 5 she should be out of home and she needs to be in school very early. That's the thing with Kenyan high school. Earliness. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video here. Please like, comment, we need hold for me. Comment and share. Subscription is free, like is free. Please, thank you so much for the support. I love you.